That's right. Monday, we see such big crowds at our Tampadi Sub today because it's the day when we will see Ye Wan Sang 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 
永春了，对不对？当然 ，Ladies and gentlemen, I know with you being here, you must be a great fan of Wing Chun. So let's get our heart, you know, to start pumping by inviting our next segment up on stage.、Uh, this is brought to you by Dennis Lee Wing Chun Martial Arts Association Singapore. And the school is founded by our Shifu, our Shifu Dennis Lee, who is currently the chairman of the actual Ip Man School in Hong Kong, established in 1967 by Ip Man himself. So without further ado. We are going to welcome on stage right now our martial arts. We say the Wing Chun、uh, disciples. That's right. Our Sifu Dennis Lee, who will be up on stage to show you a little bit of Wing Chun on stage. Are you ready to welcome them on stage? Let's show them some applause. All right, 掌声欢迎好不好？我们的永春示范，这个时候我们请所有的表演者上台，掌声鼓励。Give them a big round of applause. 掌声鼓励一下。Yeah. 我们刚刚的这个表演，哇、wow、哦！这个时候我们其实刚刚在里面有看到哦，我们这位就是我们的西服嘞。哎，其实我们不只是可以在这个荧幕上看到他，我们现实生活中也把师傅请来了。哎<笑>，我们这个时候一起来欢迎我们的师傅上台。Shifu Dennis Lee, 掌声鼓励 Let's welcome the founder of Wing Chun Martial Association. 特别，今天来到我们新加坡这里，而且现在在我们身旁的这一位呢是 Ricky. Ricky, Ricky 将会给我们做这个翻译啦，对不对？好，那我们来问一问师傅其他问题，好不好 ？That's right. First of all, uh, we would like uh, you know, Shifu Dennis to give us a short introduction of yourself. 诶，咁多位好，我系李旭昌。就嚟自香港，咁就师承咧就系头先你见到啦，叶问宗师嘅第二仔叶正师傅，咁啊集权就二十几三十年啦，差唔多。<笑> okay, um, my name or rather his name is、uh, Dennis. Uh, he comes from Hong Kong. He's the current chairman of Yip Man, of、uh, Yip Man's school, Bing Chun Athletic Association. Uh, he's also the close door disciple of Yip Man's second son, Grandmaster Yip Ching. Uh, and he has been doing Wing Chun for about 20 over years. Wow, 20 over years. I understand that you are now the currently 
the chairman of VTAA, the actual Ip Man School in Hong Kong, which has a history of over 50 years, and also have your own Wing Chun School in Italy, in Hong Kong, in Indonesia and Singapore. So can you tell us a little bit about what we have seen just now about Wing Chun? Um, <coughs> Wing Chun is a Okay, so Wing Chun Kung Fu is, uh, um, has got its historical background from southern China. It evolves from uh, southern China uh, and it has a history of about 300 over years. And um, it evolves from, uh, it can trace its uh, uh, history back to Liang Chan uh, before uh, Yip Man. 那葉文1950年去到香港就將永春拳開始公開地教授就令到今天我們葉文是永春就發展到世界各地 So the spread of uh, Wing Chun uh, can be attributed to Grandmaster Yip Man who came to Hong Kong in the 50s and from there he started teaching I think this also uh, was, a deep, uh, uh, was shown in the movies right? He came to Hong Kong and he started teaching Wing Chun and it can be the, today's popularity of Wing Chun can be credited to him because he was the one that actually spread uh, the martial arts. So what exactly are the uniqueness of Wing Chun? Can you please share with us? Wing Chun, we are talking about the point of Okay, the uniqueness of Wing Chun um, is this, uh, we focus on the center line, uh, we focus on uh, close quarters combat, it is uh, fighting in very close quarters, and we uh, usually focus on the center line to, for our attack, and uh, we also focus on using our entire body structure, which is the Wing Chun stance, and the whole entire body structure to actually uh, go for the attack and the defense. Alright, so uh, can you also tell some of us in Singapore here, who will be suitable to practice Wing Chun? I said earlier, our this is not a so any age, male or female, Okay, so the Wing Chun art um, is not an art that uh, uses uh, pitting uh, muscle strength against muscle strength, so it's suitable for young and old, for female and male. In fact, um, the Wing Chun has its origin from a female and uh, oh. is actually suitable for uh, one of a smaller size against someone of a bigger size. As you can see from uh, Donnie Yen and uh, Mike, Mike Tyson, right? All right. <laughs> so, so, in fact, I think we have the Wing Chun School in Singapore. So, uh, if any one of you will be interested to pick up Wing Chun and to learn Wing Chun, Alright, thank you so much, Shifu Dennis. And now I would like to hand over the stage back to the performers for more Wing Chun performances. Thank you very much, Jeff. And uh, turning so now, I'll take over my name. It's Ricky. I'm one of the students from uh, Dennis Lee Wing Chun Association. He's our uh, Sifu. Now, uh, today we are very privileged to have this opportunity to showcase and demonstrate what Wing Chun is to you. But before I do that, um, I would like to just give you a brief introduction of what Siu Lim Tao is all about, which is uh, the group of students that just performed. That, that uh, form is what we call Siu Lim Tao, or Little Ideas, Xiao Nian Tou. It is the most basic hand form of Wing Chun. It is the most basic and it is in that form where you will learn all the necessary hand form uh, and all the techniques that you need for Wing Chun fighting. Alright, so now uh, Sifu Den uh, Dennis together with some of our students will continue to demonstrate to you the other forms that we have in Wing Chun, namely the Cham Q and the beauty. So without further ado, um, I would like to invite the participants on stage to demonstrate Cham Q, which is the second form after the Siu Lim Tao. I would like to invite my fellow uh, students, please, Dave and uh, Kinong. Round of applause for them, please. So, Sifu, uh, Dennis, and uh, my two fellow students will be demonstrating what we call Cham Q, which is called Xin Xiao. Now, the difference between uh, Cham Q and Siu Lim Tao, as you will see that just now, mainly the performance is very, st uh, very uh, stationary. All right, but now in Cham Q, you see a lot more movement. Alright, so without further ado, I will leave the performance to Sifu Dennis and my two fellow classmates.
All right, thank you very much, Sifu Dennis and uh, my two fellow students. Now, before we move on to the next part, uh, maybe I'd like to just uh, have a chat about uh, Cham Q from uh, Sifu Dennis. All right, so uh, Sifu, uh, just like to ask you, uh, exactly what Cham Q, we know the difference between Cham Q and Siulim Tao, just now I explained. So maybe our audience may be interested to know what use does Cham Q have in Wing Chun fighting? Come on. Okay, so um, Sifu Dennis says that uh, in Cham Kyu, we basically incorporate what we learn in Siu Lim Tao because Siu Lim Tao is just stationary using hand but in Cham Kyu, we actually incorporate the hand movement with the stance. I think in the movie, everyone also has seen how Donnie Yen fought uh, around opponents, moving uh, either left to right, front to back. So Cham Kyu actually trains and allows us to practice our hand form with the structure in Wing Chun fighting using such movement. Alright, so uh, maybe we'll let Sifu Dennis rest up for a while. Alright, so before, before we uh, do beauty, maybe I'd like to uh, have a word with uh, Sifu Dennis to explain what this beauty is all about and why Beauty is not taught to students outside previously. Sifu. Sifu. 前輩們呢,就會睇清楚你個為人先會教給你的,就是這樣。Okay, so Sifu Dennis just explained that uh, beauty is a very advanced form of the Wing Chun and it is very very difficult to master and beauty is also a very deadly hand form and which is not readily taught to people outside the close uh, disciples of the Sifu because of the deadliness of this hand form. If you will see from the performance later, you will understand why. Because this hand form is very aggressive and it also uh, allows the teacher to only assess the students who has a suitable personality and character before it is being taught to the student. Because of the deadliness of this hand form, we do not want um, the students with the skills to actually run uh, amok or actually create havoc uh, outside. So without further ado, well, let's put our hand together for Sifu Dennis again, who will demonstrate to you beauty. Once again, Sifu Dennis, as you can see, beauty, which is darting fingers, translated darting fingers, you will see him doing a lot of darting, right? So that one is a lot of uh, attacking, attacking movement. And, and uh, now that you've seen the demonstration, you can understand why I say beauty is a very aggressive 
uh, hand form. All right. Now, without further ado, I think uh, you have all seen this little wooden dummy that is before, or rather behind me. Uh, we are going to demonstrate to you the, this wooden dummy form. Now, in Wing Chun, there's three hand form, wooden dummy form, and two weapons, which is the butterfly knife, or we call pachamto, and the long pole, which is uh, what we call the lokdim pun kun. Now, we will not be doing the butterfly knife and the, and the lokdim pun kun today, but instead, we'll take the remaining time that we have to actually show you the wooden dummy form. All right, because this is uh, something that is uh, that interests many people on Wing Chun, and it is also a very iconic feature. When everybody mentions Wing Chun, everybody will think of the wooden dummy. And Donnie Yen, in almost every beginning of the Yip Man movies, also does the wooden dummy form. Now, wooden dummy form may look easy to perform, but to do it well requires very close supervision. Otherwise is what our Sifu will call Cha Cha Wing Chun. All right, because you're just doing dancing. In uh, probably you'll find a lot of these YouTube uh, uh, videos of uh, people wooden, doing wooden dummy, but well, it looks very nice. But uh, actually for real Wing Chun practitioners, you will realize that they are actually dancing. They're actually not doing uh, proper wooden dummy form. All right, so before uh, Sifu Dennis uh, do the wooden dummy, maybe we'll just like to have a quick chat with Sifu Dennis on the wooden dummy and what it is the purpose of training on the wooden dummy. Come, Sam Tokun, I got up, Silium Tao Chow Kill, Bilji, Gumwood, Yap, Mogan Jong, I want a Sam Tokun, no being a chop up, chop up my attire, only you lean chop up a toy dick, four five, so you have your yaw kung fu, jump by cha cha. Okay, so what Sifu Dennis has just said is that we will now incorporate whatever you learn in Silium Tao Chow Kill and Bilji onto the wooden dummy. So when he performs the wooden dummy, you will find some of the moves very familiar because these are from the three hand forms. And the wooden dummy offers a stationary dummy for the practitioner to throw out the energy and to practice the angle, to practice the attack and to practice the hand form. Now in Wing Chun, the angle of attack is very important because we always go for the center line. All right, so we don't anyhow punch people this way or run around the opponent that way. So the wooden dummy offers us a stationary object for us to focus our punches, our stance, our blocking hand, and some of the kicks. All right, so without further ado, let's put our hands together as uh, Sifu Dennis demonstrate to us the wooden dummy form. Dennis, even though I've been doing Wing Chun for a while, every time I see uh, the Sifu's doing the wooden dummy, I always get very excited. Or when the mu 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 music comes out, well, I got feel uh, you know, I want to do. But I tell you, doing the wooden dummy, when I first started doing right, a lot of Otan, a lot of Blue Black. 
Uh, that's because I didn't do it wrongly. I mean, I didn't do it rightly. That's why a lot of blue black. Now, what you saw Sifu Dennis did just now, uh, I would say he's only uh, probably contributing about 50, maybe 40% of um, the energy. Because if you were to go 100%, uh, Sifu Andy will be, fly, will be flying quite far back. So uh, he's quite controlled uh, just now. Alright, now, so you'll be wondering, okay, so the wooden dummy like that lah, so how practical is it? You train so much on the wooden dummy, is it really, really useful? Now, I can attest to that, we are just going to show you right now, two sections of the wooden dummy and its practical usage in combat, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, when Sifu Dennis demonstrates this section 1 and 2 on, um, on a person, you will probably find some of these moves familiar if you have watched the Yip Man movies closely. Right, so right now we're going to get Sifu Dennis to demonstrate section one and its usage. This is section one. All right, so this is section one. Now we have a live person. This is Sifu Andy. He's one of our school Sifu. And uh, Sifu Dennis will then now demonstrate how it works. Alright, that is how the section one is being used. Want to see again or not? Want to see again or not? Uh, <laughs> slow motion? <laughs> okay, maybe we, we invite Sifu Dennis to do again and you'll see how, how it looks like, alright? Uh, this is how it looks like. Slow motion. And one of the very famous hand moves that you always see in the movie is the Pong Sao. This one also very iconic. You see this one means it's Wing Chun. If it's not Wing Chun, I don't know what it is. But I think only Wing Chun has this Pong Sao. Alright? So now, we'll show you Section 2. Alright? How Section 2 and how it's being applied. Alright, Sifu Dennis, please. Section 2. Alright, that is section 2. Now, you wonder how does it apply in actual combat. This is how it looks like in actual combat. Alright, one more time. Alright, round of applause. Now, okay, you, you probably now think that yeah, this one's stage, lah, correct? Maybe in actual filler, why? Uh, maybe you can try Sifu. Uh. <laughs> I tried before I flew, okay? So, <laughs> I'm much bigger than him. So, I also flew. Alright, um, so, one of the uh, very common moves that you saw just now in section 2 is also the Pak Sao. Pak Sao means a slapping hand. This is what you see Donnie Yen does quite a lot also. When the punch comes, he'll slap. He'll slap the, uh, the punch away. So, uh, how is it different from the other martial arts? The other martial arts, you, some of them will actually push or block, right? But in Wing Chun, we actually slap. Okay, we slap the hand away because we do not want to have too much of a movement uh, and not, we do not want to have very exaggerated movement uh, to, to fight. So essentially, we want to focus on economy of movement, fastest distance to the target, and the shortest way to do it. That's what we always do, alright? Okay, so now, for the final part of our demonstration, Sifu Dennis is going to demonstrate what we call Chi Sao. Anybody know what Chi Sao is? Anybody? Chi Sao? Sticky hands, that's right. Chi Sao is sticky hand. You'll be wondering, eh, how come Wing Chun got sticky hand? Sticky hand is not pouring glue onto our hands and then uh, stick to each other. That's not the case, huh? Now, why Wing Chun practitioner practice sticky hand? Is to practice the sensitivity of our hands to the opponent. Now, if you notice how Tony Yen fight, uh, he seems to be able to predict almost every punch and every uh, move that the opponent has and be able to counter it. So Chi Sao is actually allows us to do that. Now in Chi Sao, during training, we have our training partner where we lock our hands and we start to roll. Okay? And then whenever the opponent tries to move, you will be able to feel and react accordingly. Alright, so without further ado, instead of me trying to explain to you what is Chi Sao, maybe I'll let Sifu uh, Dennis and uh, Sifu Andy show you exactly how Chi Sao looks like. See full speed. So you see they are, they are rolling their hand ready. So they are giving each other energy, they are not just playing. 
<laughs> all right if you're inside there you'll feel ah uh, okay they are giving each other energy they are pushing forward they're now right now trying to check out each other what each other is trying to move and you will see this chi sao very clearly in ip man tree when ip man fought chang tian zi if you remember both of them were doing this all right so this is really what we do in wing chun and all the hand forms that you see being used here is from the siu ling tao and cham kyu beauty now we are just putting it into practice with a live opponent who is giving you energy and also reacting to what you are doing so it wing chun is a live art it is not just learning the pattern and that's it we actually try to practice it with different partners who has different personality different aggression different uh, uh focus all right and once you tease out with more people and then of course you will then get used to uh fighting with different people and uh, level up your skill all right so i think yeah. okay so i think that's all we have for you so once again a round of applause for sifu dennis and sifu and dee once again uh before sifu dennis go i just want to check you don't you think you look a bit like it man ah it's not like it's not i'll be quite scared if you see him <laughs> but Again, once again, Sifu Dennis is the close door disciple of uh, our Thai Sikong Ip Cheng, which is the second son of uh, Grandmaster Ip Man. He has a school in Singapore, Italy, Indonesia, uh, and in Singapore, the Dennis Lee Wing Chun Athletic Association, uh, Dennis Lee Wing Chun Martial Arts Association. If you are interested, you can just approach any one of us later on with this T-shirt. Uh, there will be a free trial class, and uh, if you are interested, you can carry on. All right. So once again, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Sifu. Wow! And ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's give Sifu a round of applause, okay? Wow! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sifu, thank you, Ricky, in this stage, giving us this performance and performance. Wow! Really, I saw, just like in the Yewen, all the techniques that I just saw, 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 I <音樂>我们这边很多的朋友都在想哦，如果是百分之一百会是怎么样的？会不会真的像电影里面这样子哈、哦？我们的人都给他就撞推飞飞走那种感觉哈、哦？